Hello people and welcome to yet another episode of Sandman's Tattle Time. First of all, I'd like to walk by giving me apologies for making his way for so long for the next episode of Sandman's Tattle Time. The reason being, we've had a few changes to the team, we've got the kids off school, how I wish they were back. Ooh. Anyway, but uh, Stevie Watt, who uh, used to do the videos for us, um, used to put them onto YouTube and uh, edit them and make them look pretty, he's decided to go his own way. Uh, there's no bad blood there or not like that, he's just wanting to do his own thing, so we wish him all the luck and hope that he's doing good in wherever he's up to this day. Anyway, tonight uh, I'm going to do one on imps. Uh, I'm also going to, I'm not only just going to show you how to make an imp, or my version of the imps, I'm going to integrate it with a three hook flapper. Again, let's keep in mind people, I know there's a lot of people out there who know how to do these rigs with the eyes shut, three hook flapper, they use them on a daily basis. But well, please let's keep in mind the juniors and the people that are new to the sport of fishing that are just coming into fishing and hopefully it'll bring them on a little bit. Anyway, so if we like to just come and have a look at this imp, I've got one right here. There it is there, the little fella. So let's quickly just have a look. All it is is a split oval with a plastic clip on it. That bit there helps knock it off as it enters the water. And that there is your bait clip, so your hook would go onto there. Absolutely fantastic idea. I love them to bits. I think they're fantastic. I've been I've used them for years. I can't afford them at all apart from the price. £3.50 for 10. How a breakaway. What's all that about, man? Times is hard, you know. Anyway, so the charging is £3.50 for 10. I'm going to do my version of the imp. It won't look as pretty as it. It hasn't got as many little fancy gadgets on it. But one thing I will show you. It'll just be as strong and it'll do exactly the same job. And one thing, it won't cost you £3.50 for 10. And that's a dead cert. What do you need to do the job? You will need a length 7cm long, a 316 grade stainless steel welding rod, a set of universal pliers, and the good old faithful, round nose pliers bought from Halfords for 9 99 If you want to get a set of these, please pay the little bit extra of 9 99 and get the professional range as you get a lifetime guarantee with them and mine believe you they get some abuse anyway this imp how do you do it get your length of welding rod and put them in your plier roughly halfway through i don't know if you can say that there but you want that roughly halfway through get your thumb and bend that straight over so you've roughly got an l and then you're right there go to the other end and do exactly the same thing again, halfway in the plier, as you can see. But make sure that that is facing straight at you. Nice and straight. Straight at you. Get your thumb and bend this time you want to go all the way around. So you've now ended up with that. And believe it or not, that's your bait clip. Anyway, back to your round nose pliers. Go down to the bottom end. About 5mm up from there, as you can see, bend that round, like that. You've now ended up there. Go to the other end, and roughly halfway, halfway from that point there, to the end of there, put your own nose pliers, so roughly halfway. Grip it and make sure it's straight in your plier, mind. Make sure it's straight. Grip it tight and bend it all the way over. You've now ended up there. Get your plier and just knit that together. There you go. Imp. There's your one oak crane swivel. Slap that onto there. Open that up. Now let's quickly just talk about this. Again, I said that it didn't look as pretty, which it probably doesn't, but... There's your crane swivel, there's your crane swivel, there's your split oval, there's your split oval, there's your bait clip, and let's face it, all that bit plastic there is, is generally a bait clip. So that will do exactly the same job as that. That didn't cost £3.50 for 10, that did. There's that. Some people sit there and say, I right, Paul, I can say what you're saying, but I just, I kind of be asked to sit there with a pair of pliers and this, that and the other. It takes too long. Believe us. If you've never seen this before, you've never done it before, it's just a little bit of practice. I'm now going to do one in real time when I'm sitting there and I'm watching a film or out like that. I'm running short and I want to do half, like, I, 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 I normally do them 100 at a time. 
um, and I'll show you how I do them. And it, it's just, it's so simple. It just, because you've probably never seen it before, you think it's too complicated and you can't be bothered. Here we go, real time. This is the way I do them in front of the telly. Right, so what the point of that was is that if you could take half an hour out of one night, that's all, half an hour, one night, you could do, easily do 50 of them, no bother. And I'll let you do the maths of what 50 of them would cost you. Anyway, that's that put to bed. That is the imp, my version of the imp. Another thing, that's made up of 316 stainless steel welding rod. I dare say that that would be as strong as, if not stronger, than that version of the imp. I'm not calling this version of the imp at all, like I say, I've used it for years. I think they're fantastic, they're really good. I just think they're way too pricey, way too pricey. There are people out there struggling at the minute, money's tight. That's what this is all about, saving pennies. Anyway, let's integrate that with a three hook flapper. For those that's never seen this made before, or you don't know how to make one, I'll now show you. What the three hook flap is for is a scratching rig. I'm going to do a distance rig so this will be clipped down. If you want to hit some dabs, place or flounders, that's right out there. Um, this is the rig for you. It'll, uh, I'll show you how to make it and uh, we'll go from there. Anyway, so what I've got here is a length of £70 Blue Marlin shop leader or mono as I should say. You can purchase this is from one place only and that's at UK Hooks. Get in touch with Mike down there, he's in the Isle of Wight, he's a cracking bloke. Um, his postage is absolutely fantastic. Every time I've phoned him, it's always been there or the day after. He's, he's really good, like he really is. The line is fantastic. Um, if I've got my story right, it's made in Italy, Italy by um, the Akuma brothers. You might have heard of Akuma line. There's two brothers, one brother does Akuma, the other one does this. And it's absolutely fantastic, brilliant line. Anyway, so I'll show you how to make the three hook flap. You get your line, which is roughly cut to three and a half to four foot. Get your imp with your one or crane swivel on and put the line through the hole. Bring the back through to about four and a half to five inches. Nip that in your thumb and your finger. Wrap it around three times. One, two, three. Through the bottom and pull that through. That's your standard half board. Come back through again, one, two, three, pull that to there. Apply some gob oil. Pull that tight. <clears throat> the good thing about this knot, for those that's never seen it before, if you actually look closely, the mono actually comes in the same as it goes out. It's, it's, it's a very, very, very strong knot. It was shown to me by a friend of mine a, a while ago, years ago actually. I've used it ever since. It's never let us down, it's never failed. And let's face it, I mean, if you're out there and you're fishing a weir and you're into that big fish and you, you lose it because your nuts failed, <laughs> you're not going to be a happy choppy, are you? Anyway, so you've got your, uh, your mono attached to your imp. We're done at that end for the time being. And this is the bit where you're going to use your cascade swivels and etc to make it up. Anyway, so we've got some uh, crimps. So we're going to start off and we're going to go crimp, bead, cascade swivel, bead, crimp. So you've now ended up with that. There you go. So you've got two crimps, two beads, and a cascade swivel. Let me quickly talk to you about these beads, as a few of you out there have been sending us emails wanting to know what these beads are. 
I purchased these beads at Andy Rutherford's. That's Rutherford's Angling down at Roker Avenue. Um, they're called Any Fish Anywhere, the beads. They're like a little cone bead. They're fantastic. They're aerodynamic. They're very strong. I've used them for quite a while now. They've never let us down. They, they don't split when it's extremely cold or anything like some beads have done. They crack in half. These don't. Um, they are £1.50, I believe, for... 150 or 199 for 150 either but get yourself down to Rutherford's on Roker Avenue Sunland and he does them there yeah uh, anyway and they're about I said they're about a three mil bead anyway so we've come to that as I've just said you've got your two crimps your two beads and your cascade so we're now going to repeat that process again with this being a three hook flapper so we've got your crimp your bead And just so you know what them beads there they are there they come in black and red that's the way they come in the packet black and red cascade swivel bead crimp story of my life i kind of fin the hole right crimp Bead This time we're going to use a swivel We don't need to have a cascade swivel on that one, just a standard swivel And onto that we've got your final crimp On to the top end of that, I like to get a nice size 1 or a size one watt crane swivel Keep in mind that this is a distance rig, so you are going to be belting this quite hard. So you need a, a good, strong, sturdy swivel. Again, I'm going to pull that through about four and a half to five inches. One, two, three. One, Pull that tight, and we are now just taking off that tug end. We are now there. So let me show you what we've got done. There's your business end. So you've got your imp, what you've just made, onto your size one or one watt crane swivel, crimps, beads, cascade swivel, repeat it again. Repeat it again, but this time no cascade swivel, a standard swivel. On the other end of that, you've got your size 1 or size 1 or crane swivel. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the top end of the swivel, of, of the rig, sorry, swivel, like that. And a roughly, what's that, 2 inches from the top, you need to get... Your two crimps, your two beads and your swivel together. Nip together in your thumb and your finger. And I always like to crimp twice. So once, twice. You'll end up with a crimp like that. Drop it all down. Once, twice. There you go. That's where you've ended up there. Like that. And then I'm going to go to the other end. And we're going to leave the one in the middle for the time being, as I always do. And then we're going to get that one at the bottom. This is your bottom one. Roughly 18 inches from the bottom of your imp to there. So you've nipped that in your finger and your thumb, like so. And you're going to repeat it again. Crimp twice. One, two. To the other end. One, two. There you go. Now what I always do is I get the two together. So you want the two that you've just crimped, put them together. Ignore everything else around them, just put the two together like that. And drop that down so your third one drops into the middle. As you can see there. So the, the roughly you've got both of them there coming down. And that there is roughly in the middle of them two. So your snuds is going to be the same length or thereabouts again repeat the process one 
two. One, two. So what you've ended up with there is, there's your cascade swivel, sorry, my apologies, your imp size one or one oak uh, crane swivel, now, there's one cascade swivel, there's two cascade swivels, and there's your top one, your third one. Now that your rig body is made, now what's left to do is attach the hook snuds, and that's what we're going to do now. What I'm using here is, as you all know, why people that know who have watched Salmon's Tackle Time will know that I'm a big fan of Amnesia line. This to me is the best hook snud line that has ever been on the planet, in my opinion. I really love this stuff, it's fantastic. I have been trying this stuff, the new Aswan line, the hard skin, the red. I use this on um, my light gear, this happens to be £16. Tip for me guys, this is up and coming this, that is good line that, I'm telling you now, is a main line, fantastic, love it. I've used it in the white, I'm using it in the red, I will be trying it in the black and I'll let you know how I'm getting on with it. I've got it on fixed spills and multiplies, it's fantastic, it's as simple as that, crap and stuff. Anyway, let's get back on to putting these hook snuds onto here. So, Get your amnesia and go onto your top one, so you go onto your swivel. Put your line through. You're just going to repeat that, not like you've seen us do time and time again. So you go one, two, three, through the bottom. One, two, three. off your tug end you notice I give it a bit of a jerk there they the, the knots on your on your hook snuts to me is absolutely paramount it's as simple as that you will be absolutely wounded devastated if you were playing a fish it was a decent fish four five six pound whatever it was and you're not failed on you terrible thing so I like I, I like to pay attention to me knots anyway this is important grab a hold of the crane sole with your thumb and your finger like that Come down to the hook snud and your main body and grab them with your other uh, thumb and finger and pull them through like that. Okay, and then together all the way until you get to your next set of crimp and your next cascade swivel. Once you've got it there, draw an imaginary line from the line to the cascade swivel and cut, which in this case is about there. That is very important, I'll show you why in a minute. Once you've done that, you need to repeat it again. This time you're on a cascade swivel. Pull it through. One, two, three. One, two, three. Again, this time you're going to nip the cascade swivel and the main body and just run the whole thing through your fingers, as you can see as down, until you hit your next one. You get to there, draw your imaginary line wherever it may be, cut. Now you've got to do that one more time with it being a three hook flower. Through the bottom, pull that through. One, two, three. One, two, three. Trim off your tag end for the last time. Again, just grip it like that and just run it through until, sorry, until you get to your homemade imp. Coming down, coming down, and then there we go. So now you're looking at the bait clip. Bait clip there and draw an imaginary line, which is in this case is roughly there. Now snip. So that's your hook snuds attached to your main rib body. 
the hooks that we're going to use in this case are these guys here. They're called Big Mouths. They purchased from Mike down there at UK Hooks. They are virtually the same pattern. If you can look here, here is a size one. I wish I had a size two. Or. That's a size one Sakuma Manta. Then we're a size two. They're virtually the same pattern. Virtually. The difference is if I was if I had a size two or um, Sakuma Manta and I have the two together, when you put the two together, the only difference is the shaft. I think the shaft on the on the big mouth is about two to three mil longer than the Sakuma Manta. Extremely strong, but it is the good thing, for half the price. So if you want to save yourself a few quid, I know I, I must admit I am a big fan of Sakuma hooks, the rears are sharp and I love Sakuma hooks. But if money's tight and you want to save yourself a few quid, the next best thing, these. So get yourself on the website, Mike at UK Hooks, he does them, they're half the price, they're called, if I've got my story right, they're called Aberdeen Big Mouths. Very strong, very cheap. I buy them by the hundred and I think they're about six quid a hundred or seven quid a hundred. Somewhere around there. Don't quote us on that. I'll not be far off. Anyway, so we're going to use these hooks tonight. There it is there. We'll poke that through the bottom. Again, we're going to repeat that knot that you've seen us do. One, two, three. Through the bottom. One, two, three. When I'm tying up hooks, obviously you just didn't want to hook yourself or you're going to hospital. Put the hook like that. Hold it there, solid. Pull that together. Give it a wobble. It's going nowhere. That's the way I've always done it for years. A couple of my mates they use pliers and this that and the other, but make sure you keep an eye on that uh, that end. Right. So we'll come to your tag end. Let us just quickly talk to you about the tag end. One way that you can do it, you can trim it all the way off. No problem, if you put a crab bait on that would be great. In this case, let's see you're going to use this for worm. Leave two or three mil. So you've left two or three mil, as you can see there. And you come to bait up, so you're putting on a worm bait. Whether it be a ragworm, white worm, or black slug, whatever you're using. Put that all the way up and you push the worm down over onto that shaft, like that. That piece of line there, as you can see, it's very spiky will pierce the side wall of the worm and help it keep it in place. So you won't get a gathering of worm at the bottom of your hook. It will keep it up the shaft. Just a little uh, tip for you there. Anyway, so that's one. So if I've done my maths right, we've put that on the bottom like that, I should be able to take it down to the next cascade swivel. Because keeping in mind, this is a clip down distance rig. So if I've done my maths right, that should clip onto there quite nicely. There's your bait clip, and I should pull them tight, and they should be lovely and even. Look at that. You'd think I'd done that before. Happy days. Right, let's leave that one, and let's go and do it another two times. So, we've got the next one. Repeat the process. One, two, three. That was your third one there. Right then, so clip on a sink onto there. There is if you want to just quickly zoom into that, there is your imp that you've just made. Now keeping in mind, if I can just find the imp. 
There's another imp. The three pound fifty version, we'll call it. Yeah, same thing. If I was to cut the sinker onto that. There you go. So that's all it is. Just a beer clip. There's my beer clip. Still there. Just my didn't cost £3.50. Anyway, so as you can see, there you go. Nice and straight. It's on there, lovely. So that will go to there. We'll keep that one there. It's going to be tricky this trying to do this so it doesn't fall off. As it just already has. There's your second one. I stood up and done this. Right then, start again, we'll stand up. So, and there's your first one. As you can say that's still on. No, there's your second one. And there's two on. And then I'll go to your third one. Three hook, clip down, rig, ready to go. Simple as that. Neat and tidy, solid, very safe. But it didn't cost you three pound fifty for that imp. So that's the end of another Sandman's Tattle Time. Very uh, sorry I made you wait for this episode. Like I've already said at the start of this one, uh, bear with us. There'll be more coming. But like I say, the kids is off school, so I'll uh, I'll keep them coming as best I can. Uh, you take care out there, be safe, and I'll see you on the next episode of Sandman's Tattle Time. Bye-bye.